Hey guys, it's Nimi back here with you for part two of the something sporty and something fishy set of videos. This is uh, just to remind you two pickups of mine. In the last video, you saw the something sporty and now it's the turn of the something fishy. So uh, where do we start with this one? Well, I guess you've seen all the um, 2012 Olympic stuff, so uh, this video contains a quartet of fine Chinese fish. The next little package here is um, another auction win, and uh, it uh, was from the greatcollections.com auction. If you haven't been onto their site recently, take a look at www.greatcollections.com. Uh, very well regarded. And one of the things they do particularly well is they, uh, they have a lot of American coins. And uh, although I think they have far too many coins that are high priced opening bid coins, they also have quite a few coins every week that are low start auctions going from one pound upwards or one, well, sorry, one dollar upwards. And uh, I always do a search and uh, change the number of bids from naught to one. So I only get those kind of auctions when I do a search to see what's around. Mostly American, but just a few world coins as well. And uh, it is in the world coin category that I found these uh, a few months ago. And uh, well, let's have a look a little bit of the background to these first, because they're quite interesting. The uh, Chinese have a real thing about goldfish, very uh, a lucky symbol for the Chinese. And uh, having known quite a few Chinese people, uh, a lot of Chinese have fish tanks uh, with a goldfish or maybe a golden carp or something, uh, symbolizing luck to have in the house and, and, and in relation to life. And uh, these particular ones, are a series of four 1984 medals. They're in brass, gilded brass. So gold gilded uh, brass, set of four medals, each with a goldfish on one side. And uh, there was quite a lot of stuff around because um, initially NGC didn't recognize these to grade them. And then in 2012, they actually issued new instructions. They looked into these medals looked at the different varieties and decided uh, which ones they were going to be able to grade. And this is, this is a series of those medals that were graded. Uh, and these ones are in, um, in gilded brass. There's also uh, uh, some of these medals in pure silver. Uh, and there's also another one which is brass, but with a silver plate. And I'm not quite sure of the different mintages for each one of them, but um, the gilded brass ones are not the most expensive ones that you can find. Some of the others are, but they're still pretty difficult to find as graded coins in a reasonable grade. They were a very good pickup. There's the silver ones, and these ones are the picture uh, of the, uh, the original packaging. They came as a set of four. Uh, I didn't get the box with mine. Uh, someone had already... Uh, dispensed with the box and graded them before I got them. So uh, I've uh, got to make do without the original box, which is no big deal, but it's kind of nice to see what it would have looked like anyway in the box. Uh, I think these are pretty good. I think the quality was not amazing on some of these, and uh, it's quite nice to get really nice graded examples of these medals. So uh, yeah, I'm aware that Chinese medals are not for everybody. Uh, a lot of people dislike Chinese medals generally for some reason and even the people who like Chinese medals can be a little bit uh, dubious about the brass ones and think that they uh, have much less of a value than silver ones but in a way that's a little bit kind of disingenuous because they both have a pretty similar numismatic premium whether they're made of brass or whether they're made of silver. I know the intrinsic value of brass is very low, obviously, uh, but the numismatic value is generally about the same, whether they're made of uh, brass or copper or silver. So uh, I think these are a nice kind of thing to have in a collection and uh, anything with 
goldfish on is always going to find a ready market in the future. There aren't very many of these around and uh, I guess maybe they'll bring me some luck. Who knows? Hope you guys like this uh, little video and uh, I promise you you won't have too long to wait before you see the next Mega Results uh, unboxing of the coins that went to uh, Heritage and NGC for grading.